Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, we have got a black box bench made in front of us today. This is the 9570 BK Mini Claymore. Now, I've handled uh, the the regular size, normal size Claymore, if you will. Uh, Zach, obviously, <laughs> you know, Zach, bench made. Um, had the opportunity, Hannah, I liked it. Um, a little bit larger for me, kind of like the whole, you know, Adamus, Mini Adamus, or Adamus, if you will. Um, and once he was telling me about the Mini Claymore, I was like, I have a pretty good idea. I'm going to like that a lot more. And, you know, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> so let's take a look at what we got here. Obviously, it's just a scaled down version of the Claymore. You've got the same uh, Grivery handle there. You've kind of got that, they call it what, the ball bearing texture there, which is really, really good. Gives you a good, good grip. You've got the knurled deployment button. I like that as well. Now, you do have a safety there, red dot safety. Obviously, pretty much acts like any safety you may see on any of your non-blade related daily carries. Got to be careful how I word that. FTE face towards enemy. I like that. Uh, do have a lanyard hole. Very cool. Do have a the mini deep carry clip on it. It is right or left hand tip up carry. So very, very good. Obviously, you know, pretty open construction. You do have a small backspacer there as well. Grivery as well. And centering is on pretty much what I would expect. From Benchmate. But like I said, safety's on, not gonna deploy. Take the safety off, snaps out there. Now I really like the coating that they're putting on these blades. It is CPM D2 right there, benchmade.com. They're patent, US manufactured, of course. And it is, it is a really it's a pretty snappy little knife. I'm digging it, but nice choil. Love the way they do their choils, and yes. This thing cradles my hand just like the mini Adamus Adamus does. And I am really, really digging this little one. So, all right. So, uh, let's zoom out just a little bit and we'll do our spec check on it. So, what do we got overall? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just, just over seven inches. Not even quite seven and a quarter. It's pretty close. Roughly about a four inch handle, three inch blade as I am measuring it. Now your cutting edge is gonna be a little shorter. That's about two and three quarters overall. And then your grip length, which like I said, pretty much cradles my hand, is not quite three and a half, but right about three and a quarter. And it does. My hand fits in there real nice. The, you got two fingers here, two fingers here, this position. The swell in the handle there hits me right in between those fingers. Just pretty much perfect. So, yeah. I'm liking it. So, there you go. There is your PM2. Obviously, PM2 is a little bit larger. You know, I didn't grab my mini Adamas, and I should. There you go. There it is up against the bug out. Pretty close. It's pretty darn close to the bug out. And you know what? I am. I'm going to grab my mini and we'll grab this one and we'll do a size comparison with the mini adamas again yeah, mini adamas is a little bit bigger a little bit a little bit but oh love love how my hand fits right in and it does fit this one just a little bit better because the grip length on that one is mm, it's almost four inches but where it now there you go that's better yeah, it's right at that three and a half. Oh, that feels so good. And the same coating on that blade as well. So now let's take a look. Do we have... Oh yeah, we got some weight relief going on there. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but there is... Well, not really. I mean, geez. Not really. Not really. It kind of looked like it with the lines in there, but it's not really a lot. That's more just the liners and stuff. So what do we got for a weight? Two and a half ounces. 
or 72 grams. And of course, the mini deep carry clip. Digging that. Oh yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Now, I know a lot of talk goes around about Benchmade's pricing. These are selling for about 207. Uh, doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, and, and I know Benchmade, people talk about Benchmade's prices going up. Guys, prices are going up on everything because I, oh man, what was it? I just had a comment on a knife and somebody made the comment. It's not that price anymore. It's a little more. And it was a, it was more of a budget knife, but everything's going up. Unfortunately, um, it's just the way it is. Now, obviously, you know, it's up to you whether you decide if it's worth it or not, as with anything, any knife, any, anything, as a matter of fact. But I, I am really liking, I like this size a lot better. It just fits me better. It, it fits my hand. And I mean, I mean, it's a smaller knife, smaller spring, but it's got definitely got a kick. It's got a nice kick to it. Jumps out there, easily operated, and very, very, yeah. I'm digging it. I am definitely digging it. Now, got to give our good friend Zach Stuff a shout out. He sent this. He got this. Uh, made this available to the Apex Pass Around group. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of this. Uh, there's quite a few people signed up for it already. I forget who I have to sign it to. I got to look. But anyway, I'll be sending it out. But thank you so much, Zach, for making this available to the Pass Around group. Greatly appreciate you. And also, you know, thanks to Apex. Because without them, I wouldn't have seen a lot of really, really nice knives. So there you go, guys. Let me have it down in the comments. Tell me what you think. Uh, I know, <laughs> I know some of them I'm going to hear, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's how you feel. I get it. I understand. I understand. So hopefully, I think Benchmade's been listening. You know, Zach has, Zach has done a lot for, you know, carrying the community's concerns to Benchmade. And definitely got to give him a shout out for that. And I think we're seeing some alterations, maybe some changes, a little bit of different ways of doing stuff because of that so definitely definitely a big time shout out to zach and what he does for the community as far as you know his relationship with benchmade so thanks again my friends always appreciate you guys stopping by like i said gonna be a lot more seeing a lot more of this one going through the apex pass around group so stick around keep an eye out for it as always like subscribe leave me that comment you know i love talking to you until next time, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.